what what is this course known for uh, aside from the history and the historical elements of all the tournaments that have been played here and the champions that have been made uh, from a player perspective what's smart to side with yeah absolutely so listen you look at the past few winners at the u.s open and we're talking about the who's who of bombers on the pga tour rom deshamba woodland kepka twice dj all of these golf courses tory pines winged foot big ballparks a little bit different here this week at the country club we're talking about a par 70 7200 yards so the defense of this golf course is not the length and it's not even the tree lined aspect because there are less trees now due to a recent renovation it's actually the bunkering and the long rough, of course, which is a staple of the U.S. Open. So the other thing, too, second smallest greens in major championship history outside of Pebble Beach. So the way in which I'm seeing this tournament sort of factoring out, if you will, a lot of guys are going to miss greens. So a lot of guys are going to be in the same bucket, if you will, trying to save themselves around these greens and out of the sand. This could be a scramble fest of sorts, very different than what we've seen at U.S. Opens in the past when the, all the Bombers are playing well. Follow Cam on Twitter at Mr. Rogers 99 host of Lock It In on, on the Believe Network. Uh, so it sounds like if, if, you, if you hit the greens, you've got a great shot. McElroy's been playing the best. Is he one of your favorites? He's inside my top 10 in terms of the power ranking. Certainly loved him for a top 10 finish here this week. And again, he could run it back and win this week after winning last week at the Canadian Open, I just think that maybe it won't happen. I will note that he's got that swagger back, guys. Like, he's got that little pep, his Rory hop, if you will, when he's walking down the fairway. Like, that's all back now. So, listen, top 20 in all strokes gained categories over the last 24 rounds. Number one in strokes gained total over the last 24 rounds. There's just not a lot of value in Rory McIlroy this week. He's the favorite. He's like 10 or 11 to 1. So, like, unless you're hell-bent on him winning again this week, there's not much value, certainly, in a top 10. Maybe you look at him in the matchups, but otherwise, probably not going to put any of my cash on him. He is number six in my power rankings. Love him a lot. He sets up well here, but I don't see him winning it here this week. Speaking of back, Phil Mickelson is back in this tournament. What kind of reception do you expect he gets when he tees off tomorrow? I think it's going to be met with a lot of cheering. And I thought maybe there'd be a mixture of booing. You know how the Boston fans can be very passionate and what have you. I'm a New England guy. I know these fans like the back of my hand, but people love Phil. People love a redemption story. And that's what he is here. Now, if we're talking about Bryson DeChambeau and Patrick Reed, well, nobody really likes them. So they might get jeered a little bit here and there. But for Phil Mickelson, he's got that vibe that people just like. And I will also note that golf Twitter is not reality. Reality is reality. And I'm seeing a lot of videos out there of Phil doing the thumbs up thing with fans. And he's on the Celtics as well. So, you know, he's playing up to the crowd. I think he'll be met with a lot of cheers here tomorrow. 